Hi guys, it's Ben here. Remember all summer we spoke about Virgil van Dijk on this channel and today, finally, out of nowhere to be honest, it has happened. He has joined Liverpool for £75 million, including add-ons. And at long last, it's such a relief. I mean, I'm, I'm late to the party, I know. It was a few hours ago it was announced, so I've been at work. But yeah, I saw the updates as they were coming in. At five o'clock it came out, Paul Joyce tweeted that Van Dijk still wants to join Liverpool. Then Jeremy Wilson tweeted that uh, a deal had been agreed, 75 million. Uh, Chris Baskin retweeted it. None of the Merseyside journalists really touched it until sort of about quarter to six, I think. James Pearce tweeted that Van Dijk's gonna become a Liverpool player on January the 1st. Um, it all seemed to get confirmed very quickly. People started tweeting that an announcement was imminent. Then at six o'clock, there it was, Liverpool tweeted that they came to an agreement with Southampton, 75 million pounds. Well, they didn't reveal the fee, but that is the fee. Uh, Virgil van Dijk is gonna join Liverpool on January the 1st. He's gonna be eligible for the FA Cup, the Champions League, the Premier League, everything that Liverpool do for the next six months. Wow, this is a statement of intent. Obviously, we've beaten Man City to the, to the signature of the Dutchman. We flew to Bournemouth, the medical team flew to Bournemouth this morning uh, to get it done, just to make sure that it wasn't hijacked by City, who were very serious about signing him. And do you know what? For the last few weeks, I've just thought it was nailed on that he was going to join City, to be honest, and I wouldn't have necessarily blamed him. I mean, he'd been guaranteed, uh, guaranteed a Premier League medal, pretty much. Champions League medal would have been a good possibility. Playing under Pep Guardiola, playing some of the best football in you know this league's ever seen, playing in that wonderful, wonderful team, probably getting a starting place, especially with the injuries company keeps getting. You know, he's an upgrade on Arthur Mendy. And him, him and Stones could have forged a partnership there with, with company coming in uh, at, at times as well. It would have been a great opportunity for him, but not as great as the opportunity that he saw. And the Jurgen Klopp has become Liverpool's leader. Wouldn't surprise me if he was our captain in the next sort of 18 months. Uh, he comes into the Liverpool side as our best defender. Um, <laughs> our saviour, really. Um, look, our, our defence has been okay in recent weeks, the centre-backs. I think Clavin's done fine and Lovren's you know, been hit and miss, but generally not a disgrace. Matip's, um, you know, he struggles with fitness, but I think most people do quite like him. Uh, you've got Gomez there as well, but it doesn't hide, it didn't stop us, didn't stop us going for Van Dijk. He's the man Klopp's wanted since day one. We got so frustrated in the summer. I was furious in the summer when we didn't sign him. Um, and I put that, you know, I, I made a lot, made that clear for weeks, really. I didn't think we did enough in the window, but hasn't deterred us, hasn't stopped us wanting this guy and he comes in now and it's just a huge, huge thing uh, for us to happen to us. Uh, I don't think it's the end of this sort of mad time we're in at the moment under Jürgen Klopp. We've got Naby Keita coming in of course. Uh, I still think we'll get maybe a Thomas Lamar. Hopefully that's not to replace Coutinho, hopefully that's to add to Coutinho, but we'll see on that. I mean, that's a completely different matter. Uh, Goretzka's still linked, a lot of talk about him this evening as well on Twitter and stuff. So. Just an exciting, more of a relief than anything. Um, obviously, it's a big price tag, and his it, it, every move is going to be analysed. Every single move he makes, every single mistake he makes, every foot he puts wrong is going to be uh, completely magnified and, and exaggerated until uh, he becomes a consistent player for us, which I've got no doubt he will. And I'm just so excited for the rest of the season. I'm so excited for the Champions League. We, we've got a much better chance of doing well in that now that we've got an actual brilliant, brilliant centre-back in um, just instill so much pride and, and belief into the fans. There's not a negative to put on this. I don't care about the price tag. Some of you might be a bit concerned about it and understandably so, but honestly, I, I could not care less about the £75 million pound price tag. Uh, I'm glad to see that we're ambitious. I'm glad to see the manager's been backed. I'm glad to see that if he wants to play, he can get him. £50 million Cater, £40 million Oxlade Chamberlain, £75 million Van Dyke. Do what you got to do. Doesn't bother me. It's not my money. Um, we're going to get stupid money for Coutinho, I'm sure, at, at some point anyway, so... Uh, not that I want him to leave, I mean, he's just, Like I say, another conversation for another day, but... As long as he doesn't leave in January, uh, the end of this season is going to be exciting. I think that probably will be it for January business. I'm surprised we've even done this. I thought we might wait till the summer, or... Like I said, I thought he might have gone to Man City, and then we might have reassessed and got someone else in, maybe the Basel defender in the summer, but... Delighted, delighted, and... Oh, what a, what a good piece of news on Christmas. Um, and we go to Leicester at home, Burnley away, Everton home. I'm going to all three of those games. I'm sure the atmosphere is going to be brilliant. The place is going to be bouncing. We're all going to be excited because Virgil van Dijk is a red. See you soon.